Communities in the eastern part of South Sudan have a long history of attacking each other to steal livestock, which are in turn used for marriage and prestige. The latest attack left 50 people dead and more than 50 people are still missing. The United Nations has been providing logistical support to a peace process in that area and is now calling on South Sudan's government to take action. We are looking to the government to launch an, launch an investigation into who carried out this attack, who were the ringleaders and the perpetrators of it, uh, so that we can bring those people to justice. Uh, and in that way, try and uh, stop the revenge cycle of, of killing and raiding that's happened in, those, in that area. But guns are everywhere here. The government has little control in the area due to the ongoing war. Uh, investigation will uh, take place in the government and it will be discussed at the level of the Council of Ministers and the Security Committee of South Sudan. Uh, and also is that uh, we should not lose focus. Uh, we keep our people uh, hoping that uh, peace also can still be achieved. Residents of Duke, an area that was attacked, are now asking for humanitarian assistance for the victims of the raid. You know, we have relatives you know, and families who are displaced. They have their houses burned down, cows taken, you know, the kids raided. You know, and so we are looking for intervention from the government. If there, a way, if, there, if there is a way they can bring some shelter, you know, to the ground, you know, some food, obviously, you know, to, to, to the weak, the wounded and the young ones. Prolonged years of civil war prior to South Sudan's independence in 2011 and the ongoing war, which began in 2013, made many here acquire guns. Intercommunal conflicts are not likely to stop until the civil population gives up their weapons, but disarmament is not expected to happen before the end of the ongoing war, and with no end in sight, attacks like the one in Dut are set to continue. Patrick Coyette, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.